primary Mass CC, Common Core, is for grades one through five and has a 2014 copyright. This edition is aligned to the Common Core state standards, although that alignment did not impact the general methodology of the program in any major way. In fact, it still has the same basic structure, content, and format of its original predecessor, developed over 30 years ago. However, about 10% new content was added to most grade levels. This content included the analysis probability, negative numbers, and coordinate graphing. A few of the topics were rearranged. Unlike the standards edition, in this program, unit reviews are not cumulative and practices were removed. Texts are full color, but workbooks are still black and white. The basic components of this series include textbooks, workbooks, and teacher guides. There is a separate answer key booklet for grades one through three and one for grades four through six, but they include only answers without solutions. These are needed only if you aren't using the teacher guides. Teacher guides have a general classroom orientation, but are usable in a homeschool setting. Since much of the review material was removed from the textbooks and workbooks, there was more incorporated into the daily lessons. This was accomplished largely by restructuring the lessons a bit within the units. You can see this by taking a look at the teacher guide overview for unit four. This overview provides information on the lesson topics broken down into daily lessons. There are also notes on how each lesson corresponds to the Common Core State Standards. In this course, multiplying and dividing by six is covered over a six day period, which includes one day for mental multiplication and a day each for multiplication facts and division facts. The actual lesson on dividing by six, which we've looked at in other editions, isn't covered until the fifth day into the unit. Although the textbooks are written directly to the student, it is assumed that instruction is coming from and is supervised by the teacher. The detailed daily lessons found in the teacher guide help parents and teachers understand the approach and the course material and provide suggestions to help introduce concepts. For instance, much of the concrete aspect of the lesson presentation is conducted by the teacher using manipulatives and supplies outlined in the teacher guide before progressing to the pictorial representation found in the textbooks. Suggested manipulatives are listed at the beginning of every lesson. In the Common Core Teacher Guide, this instruction progression is sometimes more obvious by looking at the unit as a whole rather than at a single lesson. For instance, in Unit 4, Lesson E, which covers division by six, the lesson instruction jumps right into the division process and very little concrete presentation. However, earlier lessons in the unit have spent more time on developing concepts through the use of manipulatives. This lesson does suggest using the place value disks if necessary. After a brief lesson presentation, the student is referred to a textbook page where the teacher guides the student through two practice problems, the first one estimating the answer and the second one actually solving the problem. The student then has additional problems to solve, checking the answers with the teacher. Students can write answers in the text if you wish, but the book is designed as a non-consumable and the usual expectation is that the student will write all their answers out on a separate piece of paper. Independent work from the workbook is assigned to the student. One major difference in this Common Core edition of the teacher guide from previous editions is that there are reduced copies of the student pages that show all the answers. Math Fact Drill, which many of our customers insist is important, is not a significant part of the student materials, but it is suggested and incorporated into the teacher materials. Mental math activities are always a central part of a Singapore approach to math. In this edition, there are specific exercises found in an appendix in the back of the teacher guide, which are assigned on various days. Also included in the back of the teacher guide are some enrichment activities. These mental math and enrichment worksheets in the appendix are reproducible. The extra supplemental components for this edition include an extra practice book and a challenging word problems book. The supplemental extra practice series matches the scope and sequence of the primary math textbooks. However, 
There is a single book for the entire grade level, similar in format to the primary math workbooks. These workbooks include the same types of problems and exercises, and answers are included. Due to the reduced practice exercises and cumulative reviews in the CC edition, some students using this version are more likely to need those supplemental extra practice workbooks. Challenging word problems books provide both additional problem solving practice and a new level of challenge. Each unit includes worked examples, mixed review practice problems, and challenging problems with additional worked examples. Both answers and worked solutions are provided in the back of the book. Students completing level five of this series are usually ready for course one of Math and Focus, level six of the Standards Edition, or possibly another pre-algebra. If you have questions about this edition of Primary Math or about any aspect of the Singapore approach to math, please contact one of our consultants. You can reach us during our office hours by phone at 888-841-3456 or by live chat from the website. After hours, you can reach us by email at consultants at rainbowresource.com. Our office hours are Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time.